It's a major victory for activist investors Carl Icahn and Darwin Deeson. Xerox has called off a $6 billion takeover by Japan's Fujifilm. The company also parted ways with CEO Jeff Jacobson. Joining us now with more is Brooke Sutherland, Bloomberg Opinion columnist. Brooke, great to have you with us this morning. So the deal's off. And they've entered a new agreement with Icon and Deason. So um, great news for these guys. It is. I mean, it's a little funny because if you remember, they had settled with Icon and Deason and they were going to replace a big chunk of the board. The CEO was going to step down and then Xerox sort of backtracked and said, oh, wait a minute, never mind. We're not actually going to settle. This one seems like it's going to stick. They're backing away from the Fujifilm deal. I mean, it'll be interesting to see, you know, what Fujifilm does. So far, they've said, you know, they don't believe that Xerox has the ability to sort of unilaterally terminate this agreement and they're looking at legal options looking at sort of what they can do here to preserve the deal it's a victory but is it a pyrrhic victory victory because mm. it's only a real victory if they get to sell it for more money than fuji film agreed to pay for it exactly <laughs> and they've said that they're looking for at least forty dollars a share for xerox which is going to be a pretty high price to pay and a lot of you know the pushback that analysts have been giving is is there a logical buyer besides Fujifilm? Because you know these companies are very significantly intertwined. They have this joint venture yes. that represents a significant chunk of Xerox's business. I mean, Xerox doesn't even make a lot of its products now. It gets them from this venture. I was going to say, what do they actually do yeah. now? Uh, what, is, yeah. what is Xerox? Yeah, old school copiers, printers. I mean, you know, in in some ways, it's a good thing for Fujifilm that this falls apart because you know I don't think shareholders were overly thrilled about the deal. If you look at shares of Fujifilm today, they are up, which I think is telling you something about how shareholders feel about this transaction.